Welcome to Journey of Faith, Business Owner, Episode Number One. I'm your host, Renee Berry. I'm a mother of two adult boys, Adrian and Jordan, and a wife going on 34 years to my husband, Brian. I am a Christian and a lover of Jesus Christ and have been for over 40 years. I have been on a journey of faith with our homeschool, which is now complete since 2016. If you have missed those episodes, I would encourage you to check them out at my YouTube channel, RB The Garden Nanny LLC, and look for them under the podcast tab. I want to say the journey of homeschooling and being a business owner has been very exciting. It is crazy what the Lord can do with someone who is willing to say yes. I had no degree in any of these adventures, but I had the Lord. That's all I needed. He led me in what to do every step of the way. Was it easy? Once you check out the homeschool journey portion of this podcast, you will see, no, it was not easy. I have learned nothing comes easy in life. Everything takes time and effort. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it, right? For this first episode, I'm entitling it, How This Business Owner Podcast Came About. It was such a rewarding feeling leaving that first journey of my life as a homeschool mom. I had successfully completed homeschooling my boys from kindergarten to 12th grade, and now it was all over. No more home classes, no more taking the boys to co-ops and field trips. Those days are officially over. It was bittersweet. And I truly miss that time we had together. But now what? They are now working or going to school. So what's next for me? I was not ready to sit back and relax and retire, so to speak. I had much more in me that I wanted to do. And I wanted to make a difference in the lives of others. In thinking over my next steps during my boys' high school years, I thought about the things that bring me joy. The first thing that came to mind was gardening. During the boys' homeschool experience, they would have recess, and one of the things I would do from time to time was tend to my garden. It was therapy. It was a time to get outside and recharge my batteries and get some vitamin D. While out there, I truly became energized and motivated to continue doing whatever was next for me to do. So when it came time to thinking about what I would do after homeschooling was all over, it was a no-brainer. I would help others with their gardens. The boys attended high school co-op classes at a local homeschool library, and the owner asked what I would be doing after they graduated. I explained to him that I would like to start my own gardening business, helping others with their gardens. He was very interested in this, and he said, we would love to have containers of flowers in front of the library. And to my surprise, R.B. the Garden Nanny had her first client. I serviced them with containers for years, and then eventually I started doing the maintenance on the property. I realized this business was formed out of a passion of mine, and that's how most businesses are started. I was not the best gardener and surely had much to learn, but it was through that passion I began to learn and grow in this industry. I would like to take you on this journey of mine, and hopefully it will inspire you as well to take the next steps into doing that one thing you feel led to step into. Maybe it's homeschooling. Maybe it's a business that you feel passionate about starting. Don't do it alone. Let the Lord lead you and guide you and you won't go wrong. I tell you, I knew nothing about homeschooling, but I had the desire to learn and step into it with the Lord's guidance. And he led me one step at a time. It was the same with this business. So I say this to you. 
If you have something that you love doing and feel led to share it, why not make a career out of it? The Lord has opened many doors, and I will talk about that in future episodes. But I would like to end this episode by saying, if you trust Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, he is no respecter of persons. He will lead and guide you in the ways in which you should go, and he's an expert at it. I am so thankful to be walking in the plans that he has for me. I would encourage you to seek his plans and purposes for you as well. I would like to end this podcast by giving you an opportunity to get to know the Lord Jesus Christ for yourself. If you do not know him and would like to have him be the Lord of your life, say this simple prayer with me. Heavenly Father, I would like for you to be Lord and Savior over my life. I believe you died for me on the cross and rose on the third day so that I could have eternal life. I do not want to run my life anymore, but I want you to take charge of it. You have a purpose and a plan for me, and I want to walk in that purpose and plan. Lead, guide, and direct me in the ways I should go, and I will follow. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have prayed that simple prayer, you are saved. Welcome to the family. He will accept you as his own because the Bible says, He that cometh to me, I will no wise cast out. Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. In doing so, the relationship begins right now. Your life will never be the same. Find the church and build your relationship and faith in him by reading and studying the Word of God for yourself. Thanks for listening to Journey of Faith, Homeschooler to Business Owner. I will be putting out an episode realistically as often as I can, so be on the lookout for them. I would love for you to follow this podcast and share it with others. I look forward to spending time with you in the next episode.